Welcome to our Silver Springs area market update. I'm Ron Wilstein, a broker at Keller Williams Luxury Properties worldwide here in Park City. And I'm Doug Olmstead, the Sellers Property Consultant for the Wilstein team. And welcome to our May 2015 Silver Springs area market update. All right, we want to cover a lot of information here, but let's begin with an overview of what's been happening in the Park City real estate market. <clears throat> Over the past 12 months, there's been 1,402 sales in Park City. Now that consists of homes, condominiums, and vacant land. That's all real estate brokerages sales combined. And that's up 1% or 18 sales from the 12-month period the year before. And broken down so you can see it um, in some, char some charts, uh, the gold bar is May 2014, the red bar is April 2015. You can see that home sales were down 2% uh, from 551 sales to 539 sales. Condominiums were up 6% uh, from 621 sales to 660. Uh, lots were down 4% from 212 to 203, uh, but we'll talk a little bit more about that a little bit later on. There's just not a whole lot of land available for sale. That's right. The lack of inventory is definitely having an impact on the uh, number of transactions. Indeed. But what's happening with prices? Everybody wants to know what's happening with property values. When we look at this graph here, we're looking at home medium sold prices. Again, the red bar is May 2014 through to April 2015, and the gold is the same 12-month period the year before. In Park City, the city limits, sales price is up about 2% from $1,300,000 to $1,320,000. Now, that may not seem like a lot, but... We've been reporting in our regular Park City Market, op, Market Talk webinars that we do every month, and it's been going up every single month. And so, you know, at some point it's liable as the prices go up, it's liable to adjust and, and not go up by as high of a percentage, but still heading in the right direction. Snyderville Basin here, homes, you see a contrast, it's up 11%. 720000 was the previous medium sold price, dropped, jumped all the way to seven hundred ninety. 7,000, almost at the 800,000 mark. So very positive for uh, home ownership and investment appreciation. Indeed. So if we look at condominiums and the median sold prices in Park City limits, uh, up 13% year over year from 478,000 to 540,000. That's a nice appreciation. Mm -hmm. And in the basin, uh, it's also very nice, a 12% uh, gain from 335,000 up to 375,000. And then this graph here looks at uh, vacant land, lots, and their median prices. The Park City Limits is actually down by 20% from 689000 as a median price to five hundred and fifty. dollars uh, Realize it's a very small sampling and uh, it, that much of a difference could be that uh, simply a lot in a lower priced neighborhood in town sold. And so uh, uh, because it's not a very large sample, I wouldn't want you to put too much weight into it, but it is accurate figures. Snyderville Basin, a little more modest drop, 6% from 307500 the year before to 290000 again. You know, if you're not comparing exactly apples to apples, it's not as significant information. I wanted to show you this graph here because we're frequently asked, of the sales in Park City, how many of them are done with all cash compared to financing? And this is a graph that goes all the way back to 2000 seven where we saw 26 percent of all sales roughly one out of every four was a cash transaction then between it getting more difficult with the uh, recession and a finance crisis and more cash buyers stepped up 2008 2009 up by 35 percent 45 percent 50 percent and then it really balances for the next five years between 47 percent and 50 one out of every two being a cash deal a very, very positive information there. And when we look at the first quarter of 2015, you can see it is at an all-time high of 56% of all sales, all cash. Hmm. Wow. So a lot of people have a lot of money in their pockets and they're buying Park City real estate with it. Silver Springs area real estate market uh, overview. Uh, home sales in the Silver Springs area are down by 15% over last year's number of sales. Uh, the Silver Springs area year-to-year year -to -year comparison, sorry, um, you can see the graphically down 15% from 26 sales to 22 sales in 2015. 
Now we wanted to break this down as we usually do for the Silver Springs area, which we view consists of three subdivisions, North Shore, South Shore, and then Silver Springs. Silver Springs, of course, is the most well-established of those three. But the slide before, it summarized all of them together. Now we're breaking it down for you. North Shore, same number of sales this past 12-month period from the year before, six and six, no change there. Uh, Silver Springs area, number of sales dropped by 33% from 15 sales to 10. And South Shore had one extra sale, which at five, one took it up 20%. Uh, now, the thing that is driving this more than anything is lack of inventory. So this leads us to talking about absorption rate. And again, now we're talking about North Shore, South Shore, and Silver Springs combined. Homes are selling at a pace of one sale every 17 days. The way we arrive at that is we look at how many sales occurred last year, and uh, we take 365 days of the year divided by that, and it gives us this uh, rate of sales. Now the absorption rate tells us based upon our current inventory, all things being equal, how long it should take for the current inventory if no new properties come on the market to sell. There are currently two homes on the market in the Silver Springs area, which of course equates to about a one month inventory. So that's nothing. Um, and according to the National Association of Realtors, a balanced market of supply and demand, equal number of buyers and sellers, is about a six month inventory and they're talking about major cities uh, across the country. When you look at resort towns and resort communities like Park City, typically a balanced market is about a nine month inventory. So we've got in the Silver Springs area a one month inventory. It definitely favors the sellers okay. big time. Selling prices in Silver Springs uh, range from 575000 to a million three hundred with the median sold price being 779500 and that's up 13% from the previous year's values. So you can see that lack of inventory is definitely driving up uh, prices, 13%. Uh, now we're looking at that same graph basically breaking into the subdivisions and we're seeing in all three subdivisions the values go up. In North Shore it went up 3% from 750000 to 700. 75,750. Uh, biggest jump is here in Silver Springs area from 700,000 to 880,000. How about that? Yeah. And then uh, South Shore, 568,500, jumping to 703,500. So South Shore is typically those smaller lots, low, less expensive homes, and they're increasing in value year over year, 24%. Nice. There have not been any lot sales in the Silver Springs area sold in the past year and therefore nothing to report to you. Uh, if you're interested in getting a printout as to the details on the homes and no lots because no lots sold, um, but to see exactly what made up these properties that we're summarizing in our bar graphs, send us an email. You can send one to myself at ron at thewillsteinteam.com. Of course, Doug at thewillsteinteam.com. <laughs> and I will get you that information. We do want to take this opportunity as we are near the end of this webinar just to show you how you can get this sort of information on the Silver Springs area market whenever you wish. So um, you don't have to wait for the next webinar or call us, although we're, we're here to answer your phone for sure. But if you'll bookmark our website, viewparkcityrealestate.com forward slash Silver Springs area, and you do that all lowercase, uh, or the willisteamteam.com forward slash Silver Springs area. It will take you to the same place. Uh, that will take you to a place on our website where you can get this information whenever you want. Let me just show it to you real quickly. Uh, this is our, our website. This is the home page. If you go to your browser window and you simply type in forward slash Silver Springs after the domain name, <clears throat> that will take you to this part of the website. It's a page we've specifically designed for you Silver Springs area owners. And what you have here is you have a number of things. You have this green button, which allows you to watch the webinar, in essence, which you, what you're watching right now. You can search for homes within the Silver Springs area. You can search for condos in the Silver Springs area. Or you can ask to be sent current sales data on Silver Springs. All you do is hover, hover over that blue, blue bar. Notice it changes colors. Click on that, and it takes you to this form. It says current sales data request. 
Very simple, put in your property address or the name of your condominium if that's what you're inquiring about. Mark the property type, number of bedrooms, bathrooms. Scroll down, uh, include your first name, last name, and your email. If you want to include your address, you're welcome to, you don't have to, uh, but if you're interested in getting our Park City Link newsletter quarterly basis, if you'll complete that, we'll make sure you get that. And then if you have any particular questions, uh, just type them in this comment box. You can simply say, send me current sales data on Silver Springs, or maybe you have something in particular you want to ask. And then click the green button, submit forms, and that will come to Doug and I, and we will then um, answer your questions and get you that data. We'll send that to you by email, and if you want to talk about it, we're, we're happy to do so. That in mind, let me just go back one step to that Silver Springs area page and show you what else is on that page. If you go a little lower, you'll start seeing listed properties for sale, starting from the most expensive and working downward. And you can select any one of those, click on it, and it will take you to information on the property. You see the details, the price, the number of bedrooms, bathrooms. Pictures start scrolling so you can get an idea of what the inside and the outside of the home looks like. And if you go a little lower, you'll get more details on the property. And uh, you can ask for a showing or, or any questions you might have about it. Uh, some people like to click on our bird's eye view tab here. And that allows you to see exactly where it is uh, in the neighborhood. And you kind of move it around um, and move in, zoom in, and rotate it if you want. But good information about any property that you're interested in searching on our website. So um, it's summertime. Snow's <laughs> melting, although it did snow a little bit this week. Man, actually, I heard people skiing up in Alto. It was actually pretty good yesterday. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. <laughs> two feet of fresh snow. <laughs> go figure. Did they get two feet? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah. So 2015 summer opening dates. Lots going on. Um, lot of, summertime is just so awesome in Park City. Uh, Park City opens, Park City Mountain Resort opens May 22nd. And, of course, they offer the zip lining and the alpine slide, the roller coaster. Um, lifts serve mountain biking and hiking. Um, canyons as well, May 29th, they offer those same activities. Um, and Deer Valley, June the 19th. And, uh, you know, take your bike up the hill to go mountain biking. And Deer Valley's got a super lineup uh, for summer concerts this uh, summer. So really nice e evening to go out on the, on the lawn and um, enjoy some food and some live music. It's That's good. right. If you yeah. haven't done that, you'll want to definitely yeah. put that on your calendar for this year. Mountain biking at the resorts is really the best. <laughs> uh, great time of year, wonderful trails. You can take in the views, and you don't have to pedal up the hill if you don't <laughs> want to. You can, and those who are more athletic do. Um, but they run the chairlift so that you can attach your bike to it, go on up, and then ride down. Believe me, it's a strenuous enough ride going down with the, the turns and the maneuvering. <laughs> really uh, that you don't need to add the yeah. pain of going up unless you're very interested in doing that. Um, if that isn't enough fun for you. You can go over to the canyons to their mountain bike terrain park and you can go on these crazy, crazy trails and uh, these bridges. I always look at this picture at the bottom right hand corner and think if I had to put my feet down like I would fall off either <laughs> side. Um, so I guess you, you just don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> so anyway, it's very exciting um, for those who are a little more daredevils than I am. So. Get your uh, bikes out, tune them up, uh, get out your other water sport toys, go over to the Jordan Hill, enjoy yourself, and uh, experience Park City summer style. It's great. So the, the purchase of Deer Valley's uh, of Solitude is official. They actually have closed on that. Yay. Yeah. And um, they will start operating that, um, well, they started operating on April the 30th. And Kim Mayhew, who has been with Deer Valley for well over 30 years, and a lot of different um, aptitudes there. Deer Valley will be seeing, overseeing it as the general manager. Um, so lots to come at Deer Valley. Um, yeah, that's general manager at Solitude. At Solitude, sorry, yeah. Um, so they plan to remove the Summit Double Chairlift, if you know where that is, and install a new detachable high-speed quad uh, for the new next coming 2015-2016 ski season and put a new ski run will be cut from the top of the existing Apex Express Chair to the bottom of the terminal of the realigned Summit Express Chairlift. 
So they're going to be tweaking the uh, alignment. You know, Deer Valley, they don't like crowds, <laughs> and so they're going to shift yeah. that same technology uh, and engineering to solitude and realign uh, the mountain a little bit so it's a more pleasurable experience for the guests. Uh, Deer Valley also intend to remodel the Moonbeam Lodge restaurant and increase the guest services presence uh, there at the resort and new uniforms for the Solitude staff. Uh, I'm doubting that they're going to be Deer Valley green, but it'd be interesting to see uh, what they look like and maybe they will be green, who knows. Uh, and then there's uh, Vail Resorts. You know, Vail Resorts never sit still. Um, they bought the Park City Mountain Resort this past year and now they've done it again. They have purchased per Persher, Persher Resort in uh, Australia and this is their first purchase of an international resort. They do have some resorts over there but this is their first going out and acquiring it. Uh, they purchased it for 136 million and just to give you a uh, context when they bought last year Park City Mountain Resort they paid 182 and a half million um, and so they just seem to have a lot of money. Lots of money to <laughs> buy resorts. Um, so they're expecting to close on that later this year and uh, the beauty of this is if you like to ski year-round you can ski there because they have a reverse season from what we have here in the United States and best part of all mm -hmm. if you happen to have a locals epic pass which is good at Canyons Resort and the Park City Mountain Resort, you can hop on that airplane, head over to Australia and use that same pass and ski for free. So this means unlimited skiing year round on Vail's Epic Pass. It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Well, if you'd like to learn how much your Silver Springs area home or lot is worth today's market, we're happy to help you out that way. Simply go to our website, viewparkcityrealestate.com then scroll down to the learn what your property is worth section and then complete the form there or of course you can send us an email again let me take you to the site here's the home page viewparkcityrealestate.com slide down past the search for property and then here's some of our listings and, and uh, webinars go to this section here learn what your property is worth similar form as to what we pointed out earlier put in your address uh, click the appropriate selections Include your name and your email address and there are some choices of additional information feel free to click any of those again hit the green button that will come to us and we will contact you arrange a time that we could come out and visit you and your property and we will let you know what it's worth in today's market uh, it's good if you're just curious it's good if you're thinking about putting it on the market and what we want to stress is that we do not bug people uh, we come out when you invite us to come out we're happy to provide you with information. We're not going to bug you, hassle you. If we can be of assistance, by all means, call us. But um, you know, that's our approach. We're busy selling a lot of real estate, and so we want to be available to our clients, but to help you when you need things. Um, if you want further information about the Silver Springs area, go to the Silver Springs Area Homeowners Association page, Silver Springs HOAs, the S there, dot com. And if you go there, you'll see a web page that looks very much like this. In fact, it looks exactly like this. Um, and there's a lot of good information there. So if you're curious what's happening in your neighborhood and you haven't visited your uh, Homeowners Association website, there it is. Got any questions? Call Doug. <laughs> call me too. Uh, if you want us to give you a call, include your name and your phone number in a preferred time and we're happy to do that. I thought you were going to get all the calls. I did there for a minute. I got kind of nervous. <laughs> And then uh, finally, we just want to remind you as we wrap up that every month we offer our Park City Market Talk webinar. We cover similar information we've covered here, a little more detail on the stats overall in the market, and then we will address topics that are on everyone's mind, uh, but not necessarily specific to a neighborhood like we've done in this webinar for the Silver Springs area. So uh, you can always check that out. We always keep that current. So we want to thank you for taking the time to stay with us and watch this webinar. Have a great day. Thank you. And enjoy your summer in Park City.